What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and in today's video, I'm going to update you once again on how to add a booking calendar to your Wix website. Now, this is good for booking sessions, photography sessions, training workouts, uh, anything like that um, that you might need to book stuff for, strategy sessions, any of those type of things, and we're going to use Wix bookings. Before we hop into that guys, go to wixmywebsite.com, link in the description below, and hop on this newsletter to get my weekly Wix tips. They're already helping people out. They're exclusive tips for the email list only. YouTube will not see them. And if they do, it'll be farther down the road. Um, so go hop on that. Uh, I definitely recommend if you're trying to learn more about Wix and either start your very first website or learn how to finish your current website, this email list is great for you. I also just launched my new Wix Talks podcast, um, exactly what it says, real stories, real people, real answers. I'm here to help you guys learn Wix in as many ways possible, and I thought this new podcast would be a fun, entertaining, and interactive way to teach you more about Wix. Guys, our introduction podcast is already up, so go to that link in the description below and listen now, and subscribe to that if you never want to miss an episode. So let me show you how to add a booking calendar here in Wix. We're going to go to the Wix app market and I already typed it in here but you can type bookings into the search bar and then you'll see Wix bookings right here. You'll click add to site and then it adds an actual page on your website. You can see it says book online up here. Once this has been added you'll see it matches the color scheme of whatever color scheme your website is. Um, you can change that, uh, you can change your color scheme of the website, and I'll go into that in a different video. Um, but for right now, this is Wix Bookings, this is what it looks like. You can change the design of it. So we're going to double click it, and then you see you can upgrade uh, your Wix, net, our Wix Bookings to actually take payments. So I'll get into that in a second, um, but that's something important to know. You see right here it says choose a page to customize. So you have private services or group services. You also have all of the sub pages. So the confirmation page, um, their uh, registration page, and the calendar page. You could customize all of these pages to your needs. And you can see if I just go to the registration page, this is the page where uh, they actually put in their info and then go to book it and that is right there. You can customize the design, the colors, the font, all of that on this page. Um, you could see you could customize the text, what the page title, the message, the online payment, all this stuff. Um, so yeah, you just go through here each page and you customize it to your needs. Uh, you could see the actual like private services or group services pages. Um, you could choose the design of how each booking is laid out. So you could have a strip. You could have a grid, you could have the classic, which is just like that, and you could choose the category position, so do you want it on the top, do not display, or left a menu. And then you could choose whether your image is square or round, or you don't even have to use any images right here. Okay guys, so once you've customized the design of that, you obviously need to manage your bookings. It will then pop up a box Wix bookings app setting stuff. Um, so right here, you see private service or group service. Now, once you get into these, so a private service would be a one-on-one -on -one consultation. So like uh, you could see they use some examples, a photo shoot, consultation, or a manicure, etc. So anything one-on-one -on -one is going to be classified as a private service. A group service would be like a boot camp, um, a, uh, you know, a fitness, uh, a workout, um, a conference uh, like a big conference you're having any of those would be considered a group service so you would choose what one you need to have for yours whether it's a for private service or a group service and then you just simply come through you name your service you could add a category for it you would then add your picture add a catchy description um, you could add staff members so maybe you're not the run running this service you would choose your staff members name and then just press check and that would enter the staff member who's actually running this in particular service. Uh, and then you have price, type of service, accept payment online or on your website, um, all of that. So right here it says price. 
type of service. So it can be paid or you could have a free prices vary. If you do that, obviously you need to customize the text. Um, maybe you're offering a free consultation and you just need people to book it. That's fine. You need to make sure you write that there so it's clear to people. If it's paid, you choose either accept payment. You could either have it on your website, in person, or both. If you were to do both, you could take a portion of your payment online here or um, and then a portion like outside um, in person. Uh, most people are going to choose on my website. Now, to accept payments from Wix bookings on your website, you need to make sure you upgrade here um, so that way you get the premium plan on Wix with Wix bookings. Uh, I believe this comes out to like $19 a month, but that includes everything. This is, this is your whole unlimited premium plan on Wix plus Wix bookings added into it. Um, this is very necessary if you're going to take payments on here. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to take payments until that happens. You can then choose the price, the currency, and then you can accept a deposit. So what this means is maybe you'll take um, a portion of the price now and then, like it said, a portion of the price in person. You choose that however your service goes. Then right here, you could choose your location. So whether it's at your place and my place is set up in business info, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, maybe it's at the customer's house or other. If it's in other, you need to specify where it is. So maybe the exact, uh, well, not maybe, put the exact place it's at. Like in the park, as their example is, is pretty vague. Um, make sure just in your area, uh, however you communicate with your clients, that they know where that is. Um, and then here's the one downside that always kind of gets in the way. Um, a lot of times, some of the bookings you have don't have a number of hours or minutes. However, you cannot save the service here unless you put a spe specific time. So say your booking is one hour and 30 minutes. You just simply change this to one and then change this to 30. And then time in between appointments, maybe you have 15 minutes in between each of your appointments. That will then update in your calendar. Now where this runs into play that gets a little irritating is say you are having a three day conference. Well that's nice, but then your service duration, you need to figure out how many hours and minutes it's gonna be because you have to put a time here. So that's the one kind of pain in the butt with this Wix bookings app but most people can get through it and it'll be okay um, but I did want to advise you of that next right here you see calendar um, so this will be your calendar here uh, you can also like add a Google Calendar to do that um, so you could sync that and then you see payments so you can get paid via PayPal or get paid via Stripe you'll see right here this is a Wix bookings premium feature so you need to make sure you switch premium plans in order to accept payments on your website. So in my case, I already have a premium plan here on Wix, but I would have to have the premium plan with Wix bookings, which I believe is about $5 extra a month. However, if this is like crucial to your business, that $5 isn't going to mean much once you start getting bookings, obviously. Um, so you would choose PayPal or Stripe and then just go through connecting your account and everything. Then right here, business info. So when that said in the services description, my place, um, this right here, this information would be where it would direct them to go. So make sure if you do not want people at this place that you don't select my place on that services list, um, but make sure you put your correct information here if that's where you do want people to go. You could also put I work on the go, in which case you don't actually need a physical address. So that that's nice too. Um, and then you would simply obviously put where they need to meet you or however that's going to work for you. Next, you'll see business hours. So you choose your hours. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. Your availability pretty much. Um, the t day, days and times you're available. Um, and you could add... Uh, different days, different times, just like that. And then you see advanced settings right here, calendar settings. So this is where uh, you would choose your calendar intervals for private services and your time zone. And then you see booking settings. Uh, you can have a cancellation policy. So you might have to say, 
in this case, you need to cancel 24 hours prior to your appointment. Um, and you can choose how, like up to what time customers can book their, their spot. So is it like they could book immediately um, right before they get in or they have to have their booking uh, two hours before the start of the appointment. You choose that, customize that to your needs. Then you can see right here a confirmation email. So this is after they actually book their appointment. Uh, you can customize your email here. Um, the reminder email is an upgraded feature. So if you upgrade Wix bookings, um, you can remind people 24 hours before you're scheduled to meet uh, and an email will go out reminding them about their upcoming appointment. Um, and then you also see a group cancellation email. So if a certain service of yours that people signed up for gets canceled, uh, you can customize what that email will say that goes out to those group members. And then finally, you see staff right here, and you could add different staff members depending on, you know, if they run certain classes, if someone's going to meet one on one with them, any of that, and put a picture of your staff members in there. It just looks more professional and it looks uh, much cleaner when it goes into the Wix booking app. So, guys, that's exactly how you add Wix bookings and a booking calendar to your Wix website. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like down below. Comment if you have any questions at all. I'm here to help. And guys, thank you again for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert. And finally, one last thing, WixMyWebsite.com. Link in the description below. Don't forget to go get on that email list if you learn want to learn more about Wix. And if you're interested in, you know, hearing your content, kind of like video. Hop on this podcast. It's going to be a little different from my videos. It'll be more entertaining. Uh, we'll have some special guests. Uh, we'll just have some exciting content that's not just going to be strictly about the Wix editor. Um, but it'll all relate to building a successful website in Wix. So link in the description below to check this out. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.